in this video I want to tell something about my experiences with all these LEDs that I bought on Ali and they were infrared LEDs quite a bunch of them etc etc uh, they worked on 940 nanometers that's very important of course that is invisible for the human eye uh, but of course my camera the digital chip in my camera picks that light up and makes it visible um, anyway quite a good idea to use such a digital camera to look at infrared LEDs. Uh, here are a few of other infrared LEDs from Osram. Very, very um, well uh, known maker in the 19... Uh, 70s 1980s Osram was also very well known for making uh, say the classical lamps with filaments etc etc uh, from say the 1900s etc etc anyway uh, well this is a Chinese product and I want to test it and at first Perhaps important to tell, I had not this one kilo ohm resistor in the positive lead. Uh, that meant that it easily burned out when I when the voltage got too high, and that has everything to do with the properties of light emitting diodes. They have to be supplied via a constant current source and. What I'm doing now is not supplying it via a constant current source, only via a resistor of a 1 kilo ohm. And here is that setup. I hope it's visible. And I was very surprised that with that 1 kilo ohm uh, resistor here, I could get. Uh, the infrared la, uh, LED to work on voltages between say 9 volts and 18 volts. So there is a kind of spread inside perhaps there is a kind of say uh, electronic ID here inside that uh, infrared LED. I don't know, could be anyway, not very important, uh, in a certain way not very important. Uh, of course you can damage such a lead anyway. Uh, here again the overview, question is, can this infrared lead work? without any problems between 6 volts and 80 volts. Yes it can. With of course the help of that 1K uh, resistor here. That is the current limiter. Does it get warm? Well, I don't know. Anyway, um, let's see what happens. I'm now go going to add voltage to the circuit. 8 volts, 9 volts, 11 volts, 12 volts, say 12 volts. Uh, is there a current flowing? Yes, there is a certain current flowing. And it, the current is not very high. Well, not very high, that's what I say. Uh, the current flowing is approximately 60, uh, 20 milliampere. Does it light up? Well, let's see. Put all the lights out. Yes, it lights up here. Quite good with that 1K uh, resistor. 
it takes here say 12 milliampere or so. Let's lift up the voltage to say 18 volts. And I think that's more or less the maximum that this LED can handle. 18 volts now approximately. Is it more fierce? Yes, it's surely more fierce. I feel the heat of one of the electrodes. That's strange, but anyway. Uh, and it takes now 20 milliampere. And again, uh, this is far from ideal. Let's have to be supplied via a constant current source. But anyway, uh, this is only a test. A first test uh, uh, whether such a LED can endure, say the current and the heat, etc. etc. So, anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, it, this was more or less all to tell. Say the first test of this big bunch of LEDs that I bought via. Ali. One of the electrodes get a little bit warm, so perhaps that current is somewhat too high anyway. No problems with that. And thanks for watching. Only a first test. Pen over somewhat, the LEDs, the meter, uh, these are, by the way, other infrared LEDs from Osram. You can burn them out easily anyway. And here, the complete bunch of all the LEDs that I bought to make, say, uh, a kind of infrared Spotlight. And of course, when you want to make that, you have to do some first tests. Thanks for watching.